All right, guys, we're in the airplane. My lovely wife, Ashley, as my co-pilot today. We're gonna show you guys a simulated engine failure on takeoff. When's the last time you're rolling down the runway, you get to two, 300 feet, and the instructor pulls the throttle back to idle. This is such a vital skill to have and know how to do. Flying Tiger traffic, Skyhawk 7159 Quebec, departing runway 27, Flying Tiger. Easy to do a nice uncontrolled, pilot-controlled airport like this as well. With a towered airport, you need a little bit more permission. We go full power, air speeds we say is alive, engine gauges in the green, everything's looking good, and we think to ourselves it's gonna be a nice, easy, just normal takeoff. And we rotate, and we climb up, 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 and all of a sudden, without any warning, the engine quits. Look how fast we have to push that nose forward, look how quick that ground comes, listen to that stall warn horn coming on. And we have to hold it off, hold it off, and put it back down. guys. Watch that again. Watch how fast everything happens. Listen to the moment the engine quits, how quickly and how, uh, just how quickly that stall warning horn comes on. How quickly we have to push that nose over to keep this airplane flying. There was no time to add flaps. All I could think about, all I had time for was to nose that airplane forward. That's all I had time to do and make a normal landing. And now it becomes a no flap landing and it happens so very quickly. That's what you need to be ready for. So listen, let's show it to you guys again now. Let's do a simulated engine failure on takeoff, but let's assume we don't have any usable runway available. What do we do next? All right, let's say now we go full power. Again, engine gauges are all green, air speed's coming alive, everything's looking great, everything's set. We're rolling down the runway. We rotate. We get past the point of where our engine failed last time. We just keep on climbing out. You can see there's not a whole lot around me other than trees and everything else. And what if my engine were to fail when I don't have usable runway left? When do I run out of usable runway? I'd say about now I'm out of usable runway. And yeah, there's runway in front of me, but for me to get down and stopped in time, it's gonna take some uh, pretty superior skills to certainly make that happen. I'm passing through 300 feet. Let's say I get up here, let's get to 500 feet. And watch what happens, we'll simulate this. Watch what happens at 500 feet, my engine quits again. Power comes back to idle. Look, Star Wars response, one, two. Look how far, look how fast I'm coming down here. I've got one option and it's this field in front of me and I better make that happen. That is my one and only option to make that happen. I'm going around just to be safe here. But that is my one and only option to make that happen. There's no time to make that turn back. My rule of thumb is if I'm a thousand feet or less, I'm not attempting to turn back to the runway. It's called the impossible turn for a reason and I don't want to tempt fate with that. You saw how quickly the airplane dropped, how quickly I had to push that nose down to keep the airplane flying. That was at 500 feet. By the time I was ready to go around, I was at 400 feet. Just in that 10 seconds of talking to you guys, there isn't enough time to turn around to go back like that, guys. So listen, it's called the impossible turn for a reason. If my engine quits on takeoff, I've got two options, 30 degrees to my left, 30 degrees to my right. I got the 60 degree window where I can make something happen, but I'm going straight ahead is my rule of thumb with that. So listen, um, if you, if you want to debate that point, I'm happy to talk about it. Leave me a comment underneath this video on m0a.com or on YouTube. I'm more than happy to chat about it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your day. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya. Pass your check ride or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.